Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button and we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin charts. Um, so yeah, Bitcoin on the four hour. Um, Bitcoin on the four hour. So we have definitely obviously um, been closing candles above this, well, what was a potential ascending triangle drawn here. Um, I guess you could potentially edit that ascending triangle um, to be around here, which we'll actually do because obviously that is potentially um, more obviously. Obviously, that's what the price action is showing us now. But but what I do also want to show is that we obviously have a pretty a let's just draw it in a pretty um, clear um, a pretty clear top side here. Um, so is this a potential rising wedge um, or should it just be drawn more as actual just a rising channel? Um, I, I'm leaning more towards the um, the rising wedge, um, which is inherently a bearish formation. Not that it has to uh, break out bearish, um, but um, but yeah, obviously it is looking it is looking um, sus suspiciously like a rising wedge. Um, rising wedge wedge literally would come in would, would come in um, at a at an apex. Not that the not that these play out to the apex, um, but would come out an apex not too far um, from this actual next target that we are and that we are basically gunning for. Um, just trying to adjust this to get this. Um, I mean, we could draw it like that. That could be better, couldn't it? Um, yep, yeah, and we'll. Um, well, obviously that brings its apex quite a bit lower, um, but yeah, um, we'll actually um, shade in our next level of um, of our next level of our resistance as well, or our next target. Um, yeah, apologise for doing these. I, I edit all these um, charts whilst I'm on stream, on not on stream, but whilst I'm recording videos for you guys, just so that obviously you guys kind of kind of just know that nothing gets changed, or when I, when I'm not there, none of the levels get moved about or anything like that um so yeah that's that that's our upside target obviously we've got an ascending wedge um so um this bitcoin i've seen i've seen ascending wedges break break to the upside plenty of times um especially in especially in a macro bull run um but yeah but we should um we should obviously just just be aware of this just be aware of this and then we have got this horizontal level of support that we could um back test anyway uh, just back test again as support, which would have come in line with the bottom of the trend line if it came in if it came in relatively soon. Um, but yeah, all in all though, all in all though, we have to say Bitcoin is bullish overall. Um, obviously, as, as we all clearly know, um, touching that magical um, half a hundred k. Um, so that is our fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> So stating the obvious there, but um, but yeah, Bitcoin Bitcoin is looking good. Um, but yeah, like I said, we potentially got a a bearish chart pan here, but that is not to say that we are gonna we are gonna break down. And even if we did break down, um, the target target of it would be a round around this forty four thousand, um, which wouldn't be um, which well I say wouldn't be wouldn't be like an absolutely um devastating move for bitcoin even from this level um and yeah we'll just play into the narrative of this hot this um this um this larger range that we are currently playing off obviously taking out and closing below that forty four thousand level um could then become a bit problematic um but obviously that's just uh we, we we we're not at that we're not at the stage where we need to discuss that yet and we could very easily just break on up here break even break on break on through this resistance and then start to trade out this range um, so yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. Our good old Ethereum Bitcoin pairing um, still looking um, not too not oops still looking not too good here. Um, still looking not too good here, but has has uh, tentatively bounced off this low again. Um, but it's gonna have to it's gonna have to start to make some serious progress to the upside. Otherwise, it's gonna clearly look like um, it's gonna it's gonna come down and test this. Um, uh, this around this 33 level so um yeah obviously that's what's on the cards i mean if we do basically start to trade below here i would expect the yeah, ethereum to come all the way down here uh this satoshi pairing um and that could probably coincide with a with a breakup of bitcoin um into that into that um into that um low 50k level um that could very easily see ethereum not being able to keep up and coming down to this level so um <clears throat> yeah um are, are we are we do a little bit of a bounce here probably can we take out this higher than these highs that is that is in the balance that is in the balance um the usd pairing as you can see is just hovering up here and uh, the usd pairing on its own in isolation um <clears throat> this does look primed actually for a for a, for a nice a nice move up 
Um, so we have got that. So we have got that um, to look out for. But then again, if obviously if Bitcoin makes a massive move up and Ethereum can make a, a not so massive move up <laughs> in dollar value, and this obviously can still come down, um, which is um, which is clearly what's been happening recently. Um, the actual overall BTC dominance um, of the overall market is back at this um, horizontal. Um, so yeah, do we get rejected here and come back down, um, or are we looking at a well? Are we looking at a more sustained upward price action? My bias is obviously to the downside, but um, I do think that Bitcoin is due a move, um, and well, more probably, probably more likely <laughs> to the to the upside. Um, but it could potentially be to the downside. But nonetheless, I think Bitcoin is due a, a decent move, a decent size move. Um, and that could obviously um, catapult um, this to the upside. And obviously the Ethereum is totally pairing to the downside. Um, so, yeah, we should we should keep an eye on that. Um, stock markets are me looking good, really. Just um, just highs, highs, highs. Stock markets just highs. Um, the 10 year yield, though, is creeping up. It is creeping up at some point. This is going to be problematic. And then at that point. Um, the Fed is going to increase its balance sheet and at that point um, the dollar is potentially then going to gonna weaken um, and then yeah I mean commodities, um, precious metals and Bitcoin could heavily benefit from that scenario um, and then here we have, have the dollar index herself not looked into this a while not looked into this for a couple of streams I believe um, but yeah, I mean, we're still basically hovering around this level, looking very much like a bear flag, struggling to make any traction. Um, it is probably this dollar index, the dollar has basically an eye on this 10 year rising um, and understanding that at some point the Fed is going to step in at some point. So that is going to that is going to equal um, a more weakening dollar, basically. Um, so, yeah, this is a, this is looking primed for a move at least down to here then potentially lower. Uh, in my opinion and that's gonna that's not gonna be nothing but a um, but a tailwind for Bitcoin um, doesn't have to necessarily be the tailwind that pumps Bitcoin higher because Bitcoin is obviously it's clearly got a life of its own at the moment um, but it is nonetheless going to be a, tail, a tailwind as opposed to a headwind um, <clears throat> which obviously all this has been a headwind whilst Bitcoin has pretty much done a, a, a 2x plus um, so yeah that's what I kind of mean how um, Bitcoin has now gone into full FOMO um, and not really necessarily um, in a calm in a calm period where it's going to take direction from this from this um, this asset. Um, so yeah, we'll have a look at the stochastics. Do the stochastics help tell us where we're gonna where we're gonna be going? Um, <clears throat> um, here we go. If we can get it up, yeah, four four hour. And um, you can see this trend line we had to the downside is broken. So four hours getting get, is is moving up obviously, but we can see it's got it's losing a bit of steam here. Um, but obviously, um, if we do. Well, if you keep, obviously, if we keep moving from here, this is going to keep moving up. But yeah, this is still this is still bullish. Um, this could keep uh, keep dragging us us to the upside. Uh, ten hour as well, if it wants to load. I mean, ten hours pointing down. Ten hour is yeah, he's pointing down. Kind of um, looking at this trend line here in the ten hour. Twelve hour zero thereabouts, looking to curl back up at the moment. Um, daily looking good, and then we're going to get to the ones that are looking good. Two day good, three day good, five day good. Weekly has now um, fully and formally turned up, um, so there we go. Um, and then bi-weekly as well, um, looking to looking to turn up, and monthly obviously still going up. So we are clearly in a macro bull market. I mean, I, let's just look at this monthly chart. I mean, look, we are clearly in price discovery here, macro bull market price discovery. Um, no reason for anyone to try and call tops in this. Um, so yeah, but that is obviously the long term. Um, our our price our price movement in the in the shorter time frames can obviously be as as wild as wild as you like on the basis that um, on the basis that we are trading at such a high price point at the moment. So um, yeah, so yeah, in interesting times. Um, we are gonna this this is a relative period of low volatility for Bitcoin. So obviously, as you know, low vol leads to high vol. Um, obviously high vol led to low vol so we are looking at a high vol period and it, that obviously doesn't indicate direction could it be to the upside could it to the downside is it going to bust us um, above uh, well let's call it 53k or is it going to get us down to 44k I believe one of those is going to be the next move um, yeah basically uh, the 53k I mean whether we hold above here or make progress from above here I don't know but I think we will get to here and wick up above it if we are going to go in, in that direction 
or we will come down to 44k and uh, potentially wick below potentially hit this level um before well hopefully holding the holding the 44k level and uh, to the downside um and yeah one of one of one of those i believe is going to be coming in, in pretty short order um so um yeah watch out watch out for that um so yeah there we go guys thank you for listening remember this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i'll speak to you guys later on today